Hi, it's me, Pinky, again. I wanted to show you a new technique that I came up with this weekend. I don't even know if it's new, but hey, it's what I'm doing, right? So, it is these really cool book bows, and they're made out of completely recycled books. Actually, I went in the garbage bin at the library, and I got these books for free. They were just throwing them out, and I wanted to do something with the papers. And here's what I ended up doing. Aren't these bows really cool? And you could totally give them a modern look with the um, smooch spritz here from Clear Snaps. So all you're going to need is, oh, wait a minute. Now look how cool these look on gingham. I thought this would make such a cute card. So I'm probably going to use some of this October after gingham for that. Okay, so let's <laughs> see if I can keep things from rolling around. I have a really old book here uh, I found in the garbage of the library. They didn't want it anymore. So I'm going to tear out a couple of sheets of paper from that. I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to use my Helmore 450 glue because it's my favorite and it works perfectly on everything I do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these papers and I'm going to ball them up. And the reason I do this is because it gives some leeway and it gives some extra, um, it makes the paper easier to work with because it takes all the stiffness away. So okay, that's all I'm going to do there, and you can do these bows in any size, and I'm going to cut about, I'm going to say a little over a third of a piece of paper off, long like that, and then I'm going to fold it in half, and then, and you don't have to do two layers, but I like to in case one tears a little bit, because these are kind of grungy. Okay, so then you're going to have two of those, and then I'm going to take that same paper, and I'm going to cut a very thin, and this is under a half inch, because if you use it too wide, it's going to look funny. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted to spritz it, you're going to take your smooch spritz right here, and you're going to spray it all over the paper before you start working. And actually, I just sprayed it on the whole page, but you can do it individually if you want to. Okay, so you're going to take your paper, you're going to figure out how you want it, which, I mean, really, they're book bows, so who cares, right? And you're going to take them, and you're going to crunch them down in the middle, just like this. And you're going to pinch them really good, and then you're going to fold out the edges, okay? There we go. Really easy, right? And you're going to be shocked because these take like two minutes to make. And they're so much easier than tying a perfect bow. Okay, so there you go. Now you're going to take this piece of paper like this, this strip, and you're going to fold it all the way in half. And the reason I do that is because I like to have it double thickness. And then you're going to take your Helmar glue, and you're just going to take a tiny bit of it. You're not going to have to use a lot. You're going to put it down so that you can glue this in half together. Like that. There you go. And this will actually work for your next bow, too, because you're going to cut it just about in half. And then you're going to take in the front of the bow, and you're going to put it in the middle, just like this. And you're going to go to the back and you're going to wrap it around. Now, when you wrap it around, you're going to take a dab of Helmar glue, not too much, because then you'll get it all over your hands, like I always get mine on my hands, and you're going to close it. You're going to close the uh, paper, and there's the simple bow, just regular bow, just like you, you know, without the bottom. Now, if you want to make the bottom, here's what you're going to do. So you're going to cut about a half inch or so, maybe a little wider. I mean, it's, it's pretty flexible, you know. Everything I do is not uh, perfect anyway, and it never will be. So we'll just go with my relaxed way, and then if you want to do it perfectly, you can. <laughs> hmm. I'm in a hurry tonight. Can you tell? Okay. So you're just going to cut the edges like that, so you have the bottoms of your bow. And then you can cut it here. But basically, you're just going to crunch it together, and you're going to open it up like this. I hope you can see that. Can you see that on the light? Let's see. There you go. And then you are just going to put a dab of Helmar glue on there and a dab here. Oops. And then you're going to throw your bow on. And that's that. And actually, I probably would make these a little bit shorter. I did and fatter on the other ones, but since we're just doing it for a video real quick. Anyways, so that's how you do it. And they're totally adorable, right? And guess what? You're recycling, you're upcycling, you're reusing. I mean, that's the way to go, right? Okay, another...
fun tip from Pinky that takes, what, less than three minutes? I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Always making something. Always get your handy dandy 450 from Helmar. It'll be the best glue you ever use. And you're, you're set. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a